Okay, I'll briefly talk about the grading and policies in this course. Uh, basically, syllab your syllabus has this information, but I'd like to go over it very quickly. Uh, your research and implementation project uh, will uh, count uh, for it will account for 40% of your grade. There are two midterms, uh, each of them accounting for 20% of your grade, and the second midterm is actually comprehensive, but it will be biased toward the end of the course. And both of the midterms will happen uh, before the final exam period, uh, and maybe earlier uh, than the end of the course. You will do reviews, some online assignments, uh, and uh, presentations and participation. They will all account for 20% of your grade and our evaluation of your performance will be 5% of the grade. Uh, participation and discussion counts a lot and grading will be back-end heavy. Most of your grade will be determined in December. Uh, this is important uh, because there will be a lot of assignments that will happen toward the end of this course. For example, midterm two, a big, big chunk of your research and implementation project. Now what you do at the beginning of the semester will affect the end of the semester, but you will do a lot of work in terms of the poster session as well as uh, the final project report and getting the final project wrapped up will take time toward the end of the semester. Midterm two will happen around that time uh, and there will be assignments going on during that time. So uh, grading will be back end heavy. Uh, you will uh, see most of your grade at, uh, in December, uh, which means that how you prepare and manage your time is very important. So keep this in mind when managing your time. Now, I, I talk a lot about grades over here, but this is a graduate level course, so uh, you should not really be here for grades, in my opinion, uh, if you would like to make the best out of this course. A research project, this is your chance to explore in depth a computer architecture topic that actually interests you, and perhaps, and hopefully, even publish your innovation in a top, top computer architecture conference, and this is a good goal to, uh, to seek. Uh, so I would strongly encourage, as I said earlier in a separate lecture, start thinking about your project topic from now on. Uh, please interact with me and the TAs. Read the project topics handout well, and uh, we will actually provide this handout and uh, feel free to do your own research and potentially come up with other project topics, but you will have to run the project topics by me so that we can approve the project. Uh, I'm very open to different kinds of projects, especially interaction of computer architecture with other parts of other, other uh, with systems, for example, with operating systems, with programming languages and circuits on the lower end. Uh, but I would like to uh, vet the project before uh, we give you the go ahead. Uh, the project will be done in groups of two or three and we will finalize this later. Uh, remote students uh, can potentially do projects uh, on their own or they, they can do geo-distributed projects but we'll have to define those projects uh, very clearly. It's very important to do a strong research proposal in your project and I will discover, uh, cover this in a separate, uh, separate video. It's important to uh, do a proposal that's very clear and as concrete as possible. A uh, proposal is due within three weeks of the first recitation session so this is another reason to actually get started figuring out what you would like to do. And I would encourage you to actually look at the research project topics as well as the course topics and come up with uh, some ideas uh, and uh, do your own research to figure out what research you would like to do or what implementation you would like to do. Uh, the late policy, uh, we will have due dates for some of the assignments, uh, for example, paper reviews and some of the project milestone assignments. You, can, you get maximum five late days total on any assignment. And if you go beyond that, well, we will not accept your assignment. Uh, absolutely no tolerance or cheating or academic dishonesty. Basically, don't cheat. Uh, you, uh, this is a graduate level course and the goal is to actually learn and uh, advance the state of the art. Uh, there's no point in cheating. So see the syllabus, CMU policy and the EC academic integrity policy for this. Cheating will mean failing grade. There will be no exceptions on this. I've made no exceptions in the past. Uh, cheating always led to failing, failing grade, and potentially even more depending on the severity of the case. Uh, definitely see the course website and the syllabus for more up-to-date information and you already uh, know what the course website is.